Okay, we're recording. Um, so, um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you all about with this project is that as much as possible, I want us to be doing things in the open. And I want us to carry that through from start to end. Um, for distribution, I'd like to give it away for free at a pay what you want um, with the pay what you want option on Bandcamp. And I'd like to release it under a Creative Commons non-commercial license. I want to do the same thing with the stems for all the songs to enable other people to remix the music. Um, streaming um, recording sessions and mixing and producing and all that kind of thing is doing it in the open, which is very hard. Um, and I was thinking if y'all took videos of yourselves um, working on the project, um, we could put something together that was like a uh, kind of like a media collage. And then there was the, uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting was that friend of mine, Bracken, um, and his uh, interactive band poster sites. Um, I think I shared those with both of you guys. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't remember it, but you can it was like uh, it was like one of those hand drawn band posters, and when you click on things, it would like play an audio clip, or you had to like click around on it and explore it. And hmm. this, I don't remember it, but uh, send me a link to it later. So yeah, I can refresh. So um, that's kind of that's kind of what I was thinking about for the project, um, being open and um, being transparent and being vulnerable. Um, so what do you think of that? Um, I'll say it sounds good in, in theory. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure like, I, I, I almost positively know there's going to be a uh, one session that I'm not going to record. Not because of like anything specific, but like when I start in earnest, I'm sure I'm going to need like a second to just be like, this is how this is going to work. You yeah. know, I know that's, I know that's exactly the opposite of what you're looking for. Cause I think, you know, you've even done this on the previous ones that you've done where it's like, you've just recorded yourself figuring out all the like technical stuff. Yeah. To even get to the point of like doing anything. And I know if there's anything personally for me that like, I don't know if I'm ready to put that out there. It might be at least a little bit of that. <laughs> um, I can try, but also I know that like, that's going to be like the first thing where I'm like, all right, we're done here. <laughs> Nobody gets to see this. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see it when it's perfect magically. So, um, but I will try not to do that but i might need a like five minutes of privacy before i jump in <laughs> makes sense yeah i definitely don't have any problems like sharing the work in progress as it's happening um i do feel initially a little reluctant to be like hey let's broadcast the process itself just because that is sometimes so messy and uh exploratory and like you know there's i i often find myself doing stuff that i'm like well that will never see the light of day to anyone and the world is better for it um you know and so i'm a little little hesitant to put that out and then also just as a matter of uh you know practicality and logistics i think it, it feels like it raises the barrier to actually doing something on any given night if it's not just Hey, I'm gonna go in and mess around and see if something good comes out. If it's mm -hmm. instead, I've got to produce a video of going in and messing around and see if if anything good comes out. I'm probably less likely to even start that process than if it's just 
hey, I can go in and mess around. Um, so I, you know, I, I don't know if the doesn't have don't to, know that that's an that argument not to, to do it. I'm just saying it's. So yeah, I'm, you're seeing it makes friction. Doesn't have to be every time. Just sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. It's fair. But I yeah, think just yeah. all the times when you're doing your final recording. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, no, I, I will that that like I will need to try to do it if for no other reason to try to get over the fear of it. Because I I mean, at least for me, like I know it's probably a little bit more difficult because yeah, you're playing drums, which makes like getting that together for a way that seems uh, presentable could be a difficult where like, you know, I can just plug in direct and play along and figure it out stuff and it can happen. But so I could see where it could be a little bit more difficult for you to do it all the time. Um, but yeah. And to your point, Jeremy, about it being messy and exploratory, I think that's what's interesting about it. Yeah. No one, like, no one knows how music gets made. Yeah. They'll see a, they'll see a 10 minute montage of a singer in a booth, right? And uh, they'll see the drummer in the plexiglass box. And they're like, yep, that's how music's made. Yeah, it's mysterious and magic. <laughs> <laughs> and instantaneous. If a song is five minutes long, it takes five minutes to record yeah. a song. That's right. <laughs> five they minutes and five seconds. Fully Somebody's got to count it down. <laughs> oh, true. Um, so what do y'all think of the material so far? So far for, <laughs> yeah, for me, like, you know, like there's the one song that I'm really into, um, yeah. and everything else is sounding good as well. Like I've, um, I've been busy. Like, I know that I've talked to you, Coraline, about this, but Jeremy, I have kind of overextended myself with some work. So I haven't had a chance to do anything really yet. Um, but I've got some ideas. So I just need yeah, to. Yeah, I haven't been able to spend as much that, as I would have liked either, um, just for busy with other stuff yeah. and just I don't know lacking motivation somewhat these days <laughs> That's... I, uh, I tend to throw myself into stuff when the world is in chaos so uh quarantine has been an incredibly productive period of my life yeah and um also the 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 thing that both of you said in your own way was about being vulnerable. And um, you know, the first couple of times I streamed, I was like, what the hell am I doing? Like, first of all, everyone's gonna see how bad I am at this. Um, I'm gonna get stuck in these like stupid loops and it's gonna be boring. Or even like, you know, this is just an intimate process, you know? And uh, exposing that, um, it's hard, it's really hard. But one of the things, one of the positives I've gotten out of it is uh, it's reminding me of how much of this stuff I do know. Because as I'm explaining, you know, how string synthesizers generate their sounds, like, oh yeah, that's not common knowledge. That's something that 
I geek out about, you know? Um, so that's been kind of a nice feeling, feeling like, yeah, I'm, I'm competent. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I, that I, is the thing. Yeah. I have to, I'll have to get over or at least get comfortable with is less, is more of the thing than get over it. Yeah. So, um, uh, which I'm sure will come over time once I figure out what I, what that looks like for me. <laughs> so, yeah. So Jeremy, um, yeah. one of our songs started with your drum track. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, that, and I had yeah. asked, I had asked Fred if he had learned to start a song, and he he was like, "Not right now, not yet." <laughs> um, and Kevin seems to be blocked, which might be why he's not here tonight. I don't know, but uh, I I guess what I'm asking is like, do y'all mind that I've been doing most of the composing? At right now, no, that's kind of uh, uh, kind of keeping me in in it, sort of, because there's like momentum happening that I'm not doing, which like I have been kind of like timed timed starved for. So like, since there's something happening, totally works for me. So if you're like composing, that's fine because that means. The project's still moving. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no, it's it's totally fine with me. Uh, I really don't do a whole lot of composing and I'm kind of largely a support player. Okay. I, uh, I've gone a little overboard. Ah. Oh, yeah, you're going to get serious about this. <laughs> yeah. I have uh, two of those architect arm clamp on things on my desk, one for a camera and the other one for the microphone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's wild in here. But I'm having oh. a problem with it. I really am. And um, the stream on Saturday, I had nine people on the stream. And that was only my third time doing it. And um, 26 hours okay. so far. And people have viewed the videos after the fact. That's good. Yeah, yeah so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to keep doing it for a while. I have not shared with y'all the one that I've been working on over the past couple of weeks. Um, so Jeremy, when I do the uh, when I do the stream on Saturdays, I usually have some kind of presentation up front. And um, this last time, um, I'm watching this uh, masterclass series with Annie Clark, Saint Vincent, about songwriting. And uh, one of the things she said that really stuck with me is if you love something, dissect it. Just like a frog in biology class, find out what it's made of. Um, so I took the song Major Tom, Coming Home, 1983, Peter Schilling. And uh, I did a bunch of analysis on it, on the chord progression, on the overall song structure, it's release history, remixes, um, everything you ever wanted to know about that song. Um, and then I brought it into Logic and I, I set markers for all the different parts of the song. Um, and uh, I added a scratch drum track and I tuned the drums 
for each section to be similar to what the the song had been doing in intensity. Um, and I just started building it up from there um, and going back to make comes a reference. Um, and uh, once I had that initial structure, it's like, okay, now it's time to make it our own. We're gonna change these chord structures. We're gonna rearrange these pieces. Um, so it won't be recognizable, even though it was made up of the pieces of major tongue. Hmm. Cool. But I have to share that with y'all. I have an energy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'd like to check it out. The other, uh, the other thing I was thinking about, um, Jeremy, you heard, you did the drums for me on the uh, on the Warrior, that harassment song. Mm -hmm. um, nothing ever happened with that song, and I have an idea of what I want to do with it. Um, Punk and post-punk is part of 80s music too. We could <laughs> be that part of this project. Yeah. Topical. Brad, do you know what I'm talking about? No. I sampled uh, 24 hours of abuse and harassment um, the day after Google announced that they adopted Contributor Covenant. And I chopped it up into words, phrases, and sentences. And I got um, men to record themselves saying those things. Um, and then I mixed them up and put them together and ordered them from least violent to death threat and set the whole thing to music. Okay, cool. Oh, and that was the one that was going to be for a conference, right? <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <coughs> and then the world shut down. Yep. But I did get a guitar out of it. Awesome. Ooh, no. Can you see the stripes in the body? Just barely. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's the guitar I bought for the performance. Maybe in a couple more years. Yeah. Cool. Well, anything else you want to talk about while we're all here? I don't have anything. With your gesture, it looked like you were like, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. No grand pronouncements yet. <laughs> all right. OK. I'm going to share this later song with y'all. Um, Jeremy, I have no idea where we are with drums on any, of, on any of the songs at this point. I've lost track. Um, okay, yeah. Drop another Me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll need to revisit. <laughs> put, it, put it in one of the studio channels. Studio B for basement or Studio G for garage. <laughs> All right. I just noticed both of y'all have a panda behind you. Oh yeah. Hey. Mine's dead. Got to... <laughs> yeah. And mine is exhausted. So you're gonna have to get a panda of some despair. <laughs> I have no bears lurking behind me. <laughs> All right. Well, good night, y'all. Thanks for thanks okay. for coming together.
All right. See y'all later. Good to meet you, Fred. Good meeting you too. Later, y'all. Yeah.